previously on The Fire of the Heart's Passion. It stopped being good to me because of this good guy. I got it. This good guy needs bad to happen in a bad way. So bad will be good and the good bad. It's really hard to say. Well, just tell me. You owe me that much. Like the endless fire at the city dump, so too is the fire of the heart's passion. You've been wanting to tell me this important piece of information, but it's not the fact that your car is impounded and, and you spent all this time dyeing your hair and growing out and putting in glasses and changing your clothes. Now, can you please just tell me what you wanted to tell me? I just... I just wanted to make sure you were paying attention. I am. So please tell me. There you are, Frederick. Mark was incredibly busy. I'm just so glad to be home for the day. How's your day? Good? Frederick? Are you okay? Why are you answering me? You know, don't you? I don't know how you found out that I'm planning to leave you and move to France, but I can see it written all over your face. Frederick? Are you gonna say something? Are you even going to acknowledge me? Am I so disgusting to you that you can't even look at me? You know I'm leaving you and you don't even have anything to say to me? This is why I can't be with you, Frederick. You never say how you're feeling. It's like your heart is dead. You just sit there, a drink always in your hand. You need to pay attention to me, Frederick. Your wife. I have needs, Frederick. Just because you're dead doesn't give you any excuse to ignore me. Mother always said that marrying a dead guy was gonna be tough, but I believe you could make it work. But it's me who has to work all day, and I have to come home and make the meals too. While you just sit here, decaying all day. You're selfish and oblivious. I knew I should have gone for one of your living, identical brothers. Are you sure you're paying attention? I love you with all my heart. Of course I'm paying attention. Okay. Here I go. I'm going to start. Why, you low-down rat. Gabrielle, there's no way to talk to your sister. Why would I call you my sister after you convinced father to take me out of the will? So I'm a rat. But I'm a rat with enough cheese to feed me for life. And not just any cheese. Fromage King cheese. The finest and richest cheese made of real American dairy. Fromage King cheese. Cheese, please. The cheese rated number one in North America for cheese of faction is too good for the likes of you, Jessica. It tastes like a million dollars, which is something I can afford now. You haven't won yet. I've got the perfect trap for a rat like you. That's right, the perfect rat trap. Just like Rat Attack Rat Trap, the first name in rat traps. I sincerely doubt your plan is as brilliant as the Rat Attack Rat Trap, which is a simple yet highly effective design. Let's remember, the rat never knows when it's about to walk into a trap, recommended by four out of five exterminators. You'd better be careful, Gabrielle, because I will crush you under the heel of my Kofsky steel-toed boot. Tougher than any steel-toed boot in the market, so I can get my work done. It suits you. Your heart is as hard as the reinforced steel construction of the toe that can withstand a thousand pounds of weight. You may think I'm a miserable person, but I'm the one driving a 2012 Volkswagen Passat. Drivers want it. Why would you drive in such a reasonably priced car, the Consumer Car Guide called the best in value for a mid-sized sedan, when you can afford much more expensive cars with how much you stole from me? I want to live like a queen, but that doesn't mean I have to pay like one, and taking a drive in the 2012 Volkswagen Passat is majestic and reasonably priced. You call yourself a queen, but you better be careful, otherwise you'll find your front tire slashed with the elegant stainless steel blade of the Brutus brand fillet knife, which, if I order now, I'll get a second knife to slash the back tires for free. 
You wouldn't dare, because I have rubber stone tires that are beautiful works of tire design technology. Of course I wouldn't slash a modern wonder of all season lizard grip tires. They're works of industrial art. What I'm telling you is to watch your back. It was unnecessary to tell me that. I knew you would come after me after Father cut you out of the will. Then this whole conversation was pointless, wasn't it? Au contraire. We discussed many fine products, all of which can be found at your local Schmalschmart, where low prices are legally enforced. Your inability to see the big picture and great deals will be your undoing. And Gabrielle, I better not see you at the premiere of Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, opening in theaters everywhere February 17th. Oh, you'll see me there. I wouldn't miss an opportunity to get under your skin and see the movie critics are calling another movie with Nicolas Cage. Or the number one movie with a guy on a motorcycle with tires made out of fire. EA Sports, it's in the game! I, I just, I, Shred it out! I just... Okay, so boss, uh, we gonna take care of this guy? Yes, we are. Okay, I get you, I follow you. And when you say take care of this guy, do you mean in the ironic sense where we kill him? Or do you mean like in that literal sense where we like encourage him and cheer him up and like maybe fix his fence and make him a pie? We ought to go into a sentium and have had a strongly voted message. All right, I got you. And what is this message? You have just been killed. Okay, okay, I get ya. You. You're just trying to be tricky? So you want me to kill him? No, I want you to give him a bomb. He will get his message then. So, uh, I'm a little confused here. Uh, do you want me to not have the bomb go off and so the message is your old life is dead, you know? And so now he has to live with his new life in constant fear of being killed? Or do you want this bomb to literally explode and kill him? I want the medium to be the message. Okay, yeah, I can totally get into that. This is perfect. I got you, boss. So I'm going to blow him up, right? I think you understand what I want. All right, because I'm going to go out and buy a real bomb. I'm going to blow him up. And I mean, if this is not what you want, you need to tell me right now, boss. Uh, because... I'm kind of being confused, thrown off by this indirect language that we're kind of using here. Uh, really slowing the whole process down. His pain will be his message. Okay, boss, that's not really making things any clearer, you know? If, uh, he's not really gonna get the message via pain if he's blown up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's gotta be one or the other, either message or blow up. That's, those are two options. What do you want from me? Here's some water. Thank you. So you're good? Oh, I'm good. You take such good care I, of me. Yeah, I take good care of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I we get that. But can you please tell me what you're gonna tell me? Because I have a job to get back to, and they're probably wondering where I have been for the past year. So please, just tell me. I'm telling you, Chad. I... Join us next time on the fire... Oh no, we're not doing that again! Okay, now what were you gonna say? Chad, I don't like how you're acting. I'm trying to bare my soul to you, and you're just getting so angry. I can't tell you like this. You can't tell... Ah! Tell me what you want to say, because... I'm not, that's it, I'm done, I'm done, I'm out, I'm leaving. I'm gonna leave this weird temporal stasis that we're in and I'm gonna get back to my normal life. But Chad, I, I just- No, I don't care, I don't care. <laughs>